Finding Indian nutting stones isn't too big of a deal. Everybody seems to find them. They're just about everywhere. But what's the biggest one you've ever seen? Five pounds, 50 pounds? Take a look at this one here. I don't know what it weighs, but it's too big to take home. Got two of them right here. Got that one and got that one. You can see this one. I cleaned out a couple of the holes in it. So you can see it. I don't know if you see any more on it. But this one's got quite a few spots on it. Here's a couple that I've cleaned out. And here's more here. But that one definitely is not one that can go home with me. That's the largest nutting stone that I've ever seen. And it's big enough that you can see it from Google Earth. So these two are going to have to stay here. Just take a picture home is about all I can do with these two. And there's other signs here, fire rock and other stuff laying around where there's been Indian activity here over the years. And when they were here, of course, this river would have been lower. The locks and dams weren't in place. So this wouldn't have been right around the water at that time. It would have been much shallower. So this would have been well up out of the water back then. I'm just getting started today, so I'm gonna keep on looking. Just started doing some sifting. And we got two things that look interesting in here. I'm not sure exactly what either one is. If you look right here, see this? Looks like a worked piece, kind of a real crude looking triangle. You get this white piece right here that looks to be worked. I don't see anything else in here, so let's go ahead and get this one. It appears to be worked all the way around. It's awful fat, fat and crooked for a triangle. That's what it looks like. Right over here. Now this white piece looks interesting. Wash it off. Well, I don't know what that is. It's worked all the way around. You see flaking across it. To be honest, I have no idea what that is. Doesn't look thick enough to be a scraper, but it's worked clear around. But, uh, I don't know what that is. It's interesting. I will take it. Look at that there. That's looks like a chunk that they started either working on or whittled off of a larger slab trying to make them a point, but I don't know what it is. I don't see anything else in here. That was my first screen, so definitely gonna work this spot a little more and see what else I can come up with. Found one piece of pottery before I started sifting, just searching the bank. Not much else laying out though, so I thought I'd sift a little. Let's get another one, see what we can come up with. Got a bunch of material in this one. I can see pottery. That's pottery, I believe that's pottery, yes, that's pottery. That one's got a pattern on it, that's pottery. See some flakes, right there's a flake. Got so much material in this, it's hard to see what all's in here so far. Haven't sorted through it yet. Take a look, see if we can find anything else. Bust pieces of busted up river cobble. Another flake. Another busted up river cobble. Little flake. I don't think there's anything else good in here, just flakes. I a lot of material, so I thought I'd film it. Alright, time to get another one. We got two finds right here at this little spot. First one is a little fishing lure, a little popper, looks like. Yep, a hula popper. The second one is a nutting stone trying to hide back in those roots. See it right there? One nice big hole on the top, none on the bottom. We'll take that. Not a bad nutting stone. And a hula popper. I'll keep on looking. See what else I can find. 
back at one of the dump sites on the river and looks like there's another little cork top bottle right there in the water I don't know if it's broke or not doesn't look like it yeah that one looks like it's in pretty good shape no embossing on it clean it up take it home get the junk out of it I'm getting this water all cloudy now I can't see what's out in it you look right there you can see the base of the point and how well you can see it but I don't know if it's whole or not let's see what we got That's it's broke. Hang on. That sucker is thin. It looks like a might be Jack's Reef. How thin it is. It's got some basal thinning on it. Slightly ground maybe. Not much. I perhaps missing it. It was a beautiful base. Nice sharp corners, ears and barbs on it. There you go. Look how thin that thing is. And we're doing a beautiful point. And I'm leaning towards Jack's Reef on that one. Oh well. Can't find them all, hole. We're going to keep looking. There's that piece I found that I didn't know what it was when I found it, and I still don't know what it is. It's an ovoid shape, but there's only a few points listed on projectile points that have that shape, such as a Guilford or Mora Mountain, and they're larger points than this. This is a small point, it's only five millimeters thick. Looks like it may have gone up to a point here and broke off, and then they reworked it. But still, there's nothing this small listed out there, so I don't know what it is. If you have any idea, please leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.